Hi everybody, Steve here in Glendale, California at Forest Lawn Memorial Park and I'm here today to visit the gravesite of a child actress who tragically died on the set of a Shirley Temple movie back in 1939. I wasn't familiar with this young actress or her tragic story until it was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers in the comments section of one of my recent videos. Thank you Peterborough K for suggesting that I make this trip. It reminds me of another actor who was tragically killed on a, on a movie set whose graveside or whose, whose cremation niche I visited, gosh, a couple of years ago, and I don't think I ever shared it. So I'll see if I can find that and share his final resting place along with Carol Ann's. I think things in Hollywood and in the movies have certainly improved over the years. Although maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh, I guess accidents still happen no matter you know how safe people try to be. I'm thinking of Vic Morrow. I visited his gravesite. I don't think I ever shared his final resting resting place on this channel either. So maybe I'll share all three in this video. I hadn't really thought about it until just now while I'm standing here thinking about tragic deaths that have happened on set. This is the Graceland section which is east of the Great Mausoleum and the gravesite of Carol Ann Eklund, the little girl who died on the set of the Shirley Temple movie The Bluebird, is laid to rest at the top of this hill. On October 31st, 1939, while filming, her dress caught fire from a lit candle on the set, and sadly she died from her burns a few days later on November 3rd, and she was only four years old. And you can see here on her headstone that her nickname was Little Sissy. It's hard to believe that it's been more than 80 years since she died. And also surprising to see that her headstone is in such good condition after all those years. I suppose it's possible and probably even likely that it was replaced with a newer headstone at some point. As you can see, her final resting place is in a very beautiful location here. I'll pan around so you can see a little bit more of the location. And if there weren't so many trees in the way, you could actually see the Great Mausoleum here. You can see downtown LA though, off in the distance there. Her Find a Grey Memorial page says that her brothers, her older brothers, were her pallbearers here at the, the funeral. And that Somewhere Over the Rainbow was sung by a choir here. But can you imagine how the cast of this Shirley Temple movie must have felt after this just awful event took place during the shooting of the film? I mean, I'm sure everyone was completely devastated. There was already a GPS here at her grave, and without it, I don't think I would have found this gravesite. It's a very, very large section. I've been in this section before. In fact, I think it's pretty close to where Robert Young from Father Knows Best is laid to rest. In fact, I think he's just a little bit further up the hill from uh, Carol Land's gravesite. 20 miles west of the city of Glendale is the Los Angeles National Cemetery in Westwood. And this is where actor James Spencer's ashes are interred. He died on an MGM film set when an overhead light accidentally fell and killed him on June 28, 1943, at the age of 50. He was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and after serving in the U.S. Navy during World War I, he moved to the mainland and started his career in Hollywood during its golden age. In the 1930s, South Sea Island Hollywood films became very popular, and since Chemo, which was James Spencer's nickname, was a Polynesian singer, musician, and dancer, was at the right place at the right time to launch his acting career. Before his untimely death, he worked along such Hollywood legends as James Cagney, George Raft, Lucille Ball, Charles Lawton, Greta Garbo, Abbott Costello, and many others. His ashes are interred here in this historic crematorium, but unfortunately his plaque hasn't fared as well as Carol Ann Eklund's. Over time, his bronze plaque has become very tarnished and almost impossible to read. So I'll see if I can zoom in and make it a little bit easier. It's also pretty dimly lit in this corridor, which doesn't help either. Let me see if I can read it to you. It says, James P. Spencer, Corporal, 39th Field Artillery, 13th Division, California, June 28, 1943. This is August 2021, so that was 78 years ago. And doesn't this columbarium itself look like it's straight out of an old Hollywood movie? About seven miles south of here is Hillside Memorial Park and Cemetery, and this is where actor Vic Morrow is buried. To find his gravesite, you enter through the front gates and drive straight ahead and up the hill to the left. He's laid to rest in the Mount of Olives section. 
He's probably best remembered for his popular TV show Combat back in the 1960s and also for his very tragic and sad accidental death back in 1982. While shooting a scene for the film Twilight Zone the movie in Indian Dunes, California, Morrow and two young actors were involved in a helicopter crash on the set which killed all three instantly. The crash occurred on July 23, 1982 and Morrow was only 53 years old. Until I started editing this video, I didn't know that the two child actors were also buried here in Southern California. I'll try to see if I can visit their grave sites for a future video. Micah Din Lee was 7 years old when he died, and Renee Shen Yi Chen was only 6 years old. Lee is buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Cypress, California, and in one of those weird twists of fate, Chen is laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, not very far away from Carol Ann Eklund's gravesite. How strange is that? If any of you watching happen to know of other individuals who were accidentally killed on the job, please share their memories with us in the comments section, and maybe I'll be able to visit their final resting places in the future as well. This week I'd like to thank my newest Patreon supporter, John Montalbano. Thank you John for your extra generous donation to this channel. It really is appreciated. I also want to give a shout out and a big thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you all for helping to support my channel in that way as well. I know this is an especially sad trip today, but thank you once again for joining me. And until next time, thanks for sharing the memories.